Hey my beauties and welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you guys this night out makeup tutorial that's a smoky wing liner with a magenta lip color. And I'm also going to be collabing with my friend Rudy. She has been my friend ever since the get-go, ever since my whole journey started with YouTube. And we've been always friends and we finally get to collab after all these years. So definitely go check out her channel because she's going to be doing a daytime appropriate spring look. So I'll have a link down below in the description box that way you guys can go show her some love. But if you guys want to know how to do my makeup look for the nighttime then just keep on watching so we're gonna go ahead and start with the eyes first and I'm gonna take this primer from benefit it's called stay on straight primer and I'm gonna go ahead and apply this first from the tube straight to the eyes and then I'm gonna start blending it out with a brush and the brush I'm gonna be using is the one from Sigma which is the e52 brush now for the eyeshadows, I'm going to be using the Tarte Tartly palette and I'm first going to start out with this very light vanilla shade to kind of set the whole primer and at the same time to act out as our lid color, brow bone highlight, and inner corner highlight. Next after that, I'm going to go ahead and take this very light brown shade that's right next to the vanilla color and I'm going to be popping this on the crease of my eye and I'm blending it out with the Sigma E40. And you wanna make sure you get it right in the inner part of your crease because we're not gonna be adding any more color to the inner part of our eye. It's all gonna be working on the outer part. And I'm also taking it on the outer part of my eye to kinda of start creating that little V shape at the end. And that way it makes it easier for us once we start adding the darker colors. Then I'm also gonna be taking the shade right next to that one, which is a darker brown. And this is a cool tone, cool tone brown. And I'm gonna be starting to create where my wing liner is gonna go to start creating that gradient effect of like the smokiness and everything. So you wanna take this with an E25, but if you have a smaller lid, you could use a pencil brush. And I'm just kind of tracing out where the wing liner is gonna go, like I said, and only blending like as if I'm going downwards, as if I'm applying my wing liner. And at the same time, I'm kind of taking it a little bit into my crease, not too much. I'm mainly focusing it on the outer part halfway through my lid. Now taking a very darker shade, this is going to act out as the outline of where we're exactly going to be placing the black um, shadow. So it acts out as a guideline. If you are a pro, you don't have to do this. But then after that, once you get the hang of it where it's going to be placed, then you could take your black uh, shadow and then start placing this on top of that dark, very dark brown shade that we just applied. And then you just want to start smoking it out. I would suggest start very tiny, like as close as you can to your lash line and then start building the color up, like trying to blend it in between your brushes. That way it doesn't look too harsh or it doesn't look like you didn't blend it enough or something. So it's not really that hard, it's just as long as you start slowly and then start making it go up little by little, then you're gonna be good. Um, but as you guys can see, I start I kind of go back in between with my brushes, the E25 and the pencil brush. But once you get the get your smokiness down how you like it, then you can take a gel liner and we're gonna create a baby wing. <laughs> like I'm telling you, it's just a little line and a little bit of that little tiny wing right there. Um, I'm not doing it super dramatic or anything because the point of the whole look is to have a smoke that wing liner. So then I'm gonna just take that gel liner and place it as close as I can to my lash line because we are gonna be la adding lashes. So I kinda want that line of separation to kinda just blend in with my whole look. So I'm making sure to also apply it on the inner corner of my eye. And then again, I'm gonna take my black eyeshadow and just kinda smoke out the top of my baby wing liner. That way it doesn't look super harsh. But like I said, the key is to start out with your black eyeshadow and then grab your other brush and then just start blending it out at the top. But then after that, I'm going to take this Garnier Micellar, Micellar <laughs> Cleansing Water to remove all of the uh, fallout and as well to make that outer part of my wing very sharp. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of cleaning that up. <laughs> Next, I'm going to go ahead and take my mascara, and I'm using this one from Too Faced, the Better Than Sex Mascara, to prepare my lashes for the falsies. I think falsies are a must, and I'm using Cutie Beauty Lashes in the style Farah. Now, moving on to our face, I'm going to begin with the Benefit Professional, and I'm going to be blending this with my fingers all over my entire face, so you can go ahead and do that. Then after that, you can take your foundation. I'm using the Frankie Rose Matte Perfection Foundation and I'm gonna be blending this out with the Sigma 3HD Kabuki brush. I forgot how much I love this brush. 
And then for concealer, as always, I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and I'm going to be blending it out with the other side of my Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush and as well taking it a little bit on my chin. Now to set everything, I'm taking the Clinique Blend Face Powder and with the Zoeva 105 brush, I'm going to be blending this all over my entire face. Now for my bronzer, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. I forgot how much I love this product as well. And I'm actually going to be blending this out with the Sigma F40 brush. And I just find that it just blends it so beautiful into your skin. And I'm placing this where normally, obviously, the sun will, will hit. <laughs> but of course, you cannot forget contouring. So I'm using the Benefit Hula Bronzer to contour my face. And with this, I'm applying it with the Morphe E48. And just before we get to the blending, I'm going to apply my blush. This one is from Frankie Rose. It's called Starburst Blush. And I'm going to be blending this obviously into my cheeks on top of my bronzer with the Morphe 4. And you guys can see it already starts giving me a glow like the how I was telling you guys about. But to give that extra glow, I'm going to use the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlight with the Zoeva 105. But I'm also going to be applying this down the bridge of my nose and also on the cupid's bow of my lips. And then after that, you want to blend everything out. Now moving back to the eyes, I'm going to take the Marc Jacobs Black High Linear Gel Liner and I'm going to be applying this on my tight line and also my waterline. And next I'm going to take the light brown shade that we were applying on our wing liner and start smoking out the lower lash line and also at the same time the gel liner that we applied in our waterline. And then after that, we're going to take the black eyeshadow and then just concentrate this on the outer part of your eye so it could kind of like complement the wing liner. Now to finish off the eyes, you want to just add a little bit of mascara to your bottom lashes. But to finish the whole entire look, I'm going to be using Ofra Cancun Liquid Lipstick. That way it just adds that pop of color and it's perfect for spring and summer so I definitely recommend it. Um, but after that, you are all done with this look so I hope that you guys liked it. And if you did, don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up and also let me know in the comment section what other looks you guys would like to see. And with that, my list, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Mwah. Oh,